Now more than ever, people are becoming more aware of the value of taking care of not only their physical health, but their social, emotional, and psychological well-being too. The problem now becomes a matter of how rather than why. Stress management and emotion regulation, for example, are practical skills for achieving mental wellness, but they're not exactly taught in school. So if you're looking to better your mental health, but don't quite know how, then look no further. Here are seven simple, easy, and psychology-backed ways to do just that. Build emotion regulation skills. Studies such as the study by Despeno Gross and Kubzanski in 2013 have proven that emotion regulation plays an important role in our ability to cultivate positive social relationships, as well as our sense of personal achievement and overall life satisfaction. That's why it's crucial that we learn how to properly identify our emotions and deal with them in a healthier way. Even feelings like anger, jealousy, or hopelessness can be beneficial once we are able to understand what's causing them and how to work through them. So next time you feel your emotions starting to get the better of you, such as when you're in the middle of a heated argument or about to burst into tears with embarrassment, take a deep breath and step back for a moment, mentally, emotionally, or even physically if you need to. Find healthier outlets for you to express your emotions, such as a hobby, a passion, or journal writing, and practice communicating them to others more constructively such as using solution-focused language and I statements. Set boundaries. Many psychologists and psychological researchers, such as Kitsro, tell us that building better boundaries is one of the best things you can do for your mental health. Because when we fail to set boundaries with others, no matter who they are or how important they are to us, we can easily fall victim to unhealthy relationship dynamics, such as people pleasing, overcommitting, and emotional codependency. So practice communicating your boundaries more clearly and kindly asking people to respect them. Protect your mental and emotional energy and spend it only on the things that truly matter to you. Talk to a friend. Research has shown that positive social relationships are the most important determinant of our overall life satisfaction, such as the famous 40-year study on happiness done by a Harvard researcher, Dr. Robert Waldinger. In the age of social media, it can be easy to rely on online interactions and the safety net of a carefully crafted persona to fulfill the desire for social interaction. But to truly reap the benefits of positive social interactions, there needs to be a human connection. So why not go on a social media detox for a while and just spend quality time with your loved ones, talk to your friends, reach out to your family, or meet new people by joining a club, organization, or a volunteer program. Being more socially involved and nurturing your interpersonal relationships is good for your mental health. Find a hobby or goal. According to world-famous psychologist Martin Seligman, there are six building blocks to positive well-being, known as the PERMA-H model. We've already covered two of them, which are health and relationships. To cover another three, positive emotions, engagement, and achievement, you can try taking on a hobby or having a goal that you love and are passionate about. It can be anything that brings you joy, gets you in the flow, makes you lose track of time, and motivates you to excel. Learn relaxation techniques. Relaxation techniques are often taught by therapists to those suffering from trauma, anxiety, panic attacks, and phobia, but they can benefit just about anybody. Some commonly recommended ones include progressive muscle relaxation, deep breathing, and guided imagery, all of which you can easily learn about from self-help books or online guides. Authors Teasdale and Segal say that relaxation techniques improve your mental health as they've been proven to decrease stress, lower blood pressure, and reduce psychosomatic symptoms such as heart palpitations, muscle tension, sweaty palms, or difficulty breathing. Another great way to boost your mental health is through increased mindfulness and meditation. And while it's admittedly more difficult to get the hang of than simple relaxation techniques, you may have heard stories about monks and Buddhists taking years to master it fully. But mindfulness meditation can be a very powerful and effective tool in combating challenging thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Have a healthy lifestyle. There's no arguing that mental and physical health go hand in hand. So when you neglect one, the other will surely suffer. A good and easy way to get back on track is by eating something healthy, getting a little more rest, or doing something to help you be more active. Next time you're feeling really down, mental health organizations mind.org.uk recommends why not trying to eat food that's been proven to boost endorphins, reduce anxiety, stress, and fatigue, such as leafy greens and probiotics. Getting a full night's rest and doing something physical like running, playing sports, swimming, dancing, or cycling just might do the trick too. And finally, practice gratitude. According to registered nurse Griff Ausbach, psychologists have found that optimism and gratitude are the two most important and controllable factors for a person's happiness and life satisfaction. So try starting a gratitude journal to cultivate more optimism in your daily life. When you consciously practice gratitude, you start to realize how much you have to be thankful for. So how is your mental health? What are some ways you take care of yourself? 